we work right across the breadth of the community services sector, right across the breadth of government and three levels of government. Um, because people experiencing poverty disadvantage experience uh, issues around um, employment or economic participation uh, in relation to education, health, housing and, uh, and their broader community and, and also um, families and children. So it's an important part of the role of our how do we actually represent a voice right across um, that broad spectrum and influence better outcomes for people. We engage with the sector a lot. Uh, in the sector about what are the needs from service provision to see significant change, which will provide better outcomes. Uh, looking for uh, evidence of good practice, how we can share that with the broader sector, but also in influencing government policy, uh, how government might invest, how government engages. Uh, and everything is going to be always focused about um, the elimination of poverty and disadvantage. A key focus for us as an organisation is around um, universal services or if you want to refer to as prevention early intervention. We need to make sure that universal services such as uh, areas around employment, health, education, uh, investing in families and communities, that there is a strong investment in those areas where all people across the community are better supported. What we don't need is that people who don't fit within the universal services fall through the cracks, they end up in crisis, and that's where it costs those individuals, the community and government, socially and economically, uh, it costs enormously to all of those groups. There's a lot of conversation at the moment about co-design, getting really clear about the co-design um, which means engaging people who are experiencing poverty disadvantage, um, service providers at the table, uh, with government, uh, de designing service delivery and supports which will better meet people's needs. This is something we're having lots of conversations with government about. What are the program outcomes that need to be delivered on while government's talking about reform agendas at the federal and state and local level? If we can understand what are the program outcomes that will drive those uh, population outcomes, this will assist enormously. Um, it will assist enormously about where the investment and where the, the resources need to be directed. What does success look like um, as a state, as local communities, but for also for individuals? And if we can have that data available um, at the local level, which provides the opportunity for strong place-based responses. Um, once a particular community or a place understands uh, the data and the, the outcomes that will drive success for them, it's much easier for them to respond to their own local needs. And every place across this state is very, very different and there needs to be different responses. And we also need to have the right structures in place to, be allowed, to allow communities to get on with making decisions which drive their own futures.